our generalized result says that, first of all, we need the same number of columns in this matrix, 1, 2, as we do the number of rows in this matrix. If you think about the collapse idea, the 0 has to have something to land on, and the 1 has to have something to land on. So if there were an extra column here, like a, uh, a 5, let's say, well now, what gets to mul what mul multiplies into the 5? Uh, and some people would say, well, isn't it, isn't it just 0? And the answer is, not unless the, the 0 would be shown here, that every number in the row has to have a number to match up within the column. If that's not the case, they cannot be multiplied together. So the trick, one of the tricks, is to take look at the inner dimensions. Here, if you, as long as your inner dimensions are the same, columns of the first matrix, rows of the second matrix, then your resulting matrix will be the outer dimensions. So in this case, this one will be a 2 by 2. The way you can justify that to yourself is every row multiplies by of the first matrix multiplies by every column of the second matrix. Well, two rows multiplied by two columns would have to create a 2 by 2. Back up here, we have the result that um, we took a 1 by 2 and a 2 by 1. Our inner dimensions matched. Our final matrix was of size 1 by 1 because we had one row to multiply by one column. Here we took a 2 by 2 times a 2 by 1. The inner dimensions were the same. The compatibility issue was uh, satisfied. And our resulting matrix was two rows by one column large. To better uh, visualize this for bigger matrices, there's a really great applet out here. Um, at this website. This one allows you to select a P by Q matrix and another one that's going to be Q by R. So it forces you to have the same inner dimensions. So let's say I want to do a uh, 2 by 3 and a 3 by 2 and I hit OK. Now I can come in here and I can edit the values if I'd like. But what this is going to do, so here it just randomly generates them for me. Uh, what this is going to allow me to do is, as I start going, it's going to say, well, hey, you're trying to take this matrix, you're multiplying it by this one. Um, in the demo mode, or in the custom mode, uh, sorry, in the demo mode, it'll actually walk you through step by step. So first row, it'll show you that the 5 multiplies by the 1, 0 multiplies by 1, 2 multiplies by 4, shows you it here, and then adds them all together, places the 13 in the entry. You hit the next button. This one actually goes over uh, by the columns, unfortunately that's the best we can do. Um, the 5 multiplies by the 0, 0 multiplies by the 3, 2 multiplies by the 0, but because these guys take the first row by the second column, that's got to be the first row, second column entry. Um, if you go back here, you reload the applet, and again let's do a 2 by 3 and a 3 by 2, which will be how big? 2 by 2. Two rows have to multiply by two columns and uh, you do the custom mode, you can actually say I want to do row 1 by column 1 first. That produces a 28 for this example. Next I want to see uh, row 2, column 1. So it says take 3, 4, 4, collapse on top of it, 1, 3, 4. Those numbers multiply, they get added together. Uh, you continue, now you want to do the first row, second column, well, that's first row, second column is going to put you in the first row, second column. Zero multiplies by the zero, four multiplies by the three, four multiplies by the five, they get added together, form 32. Um, now I want to do row two, column two, row two, column two, three, zero lands on top of the three, three lands on top of the four, five land tap, lands on top of the four, those numbers get multiplied together and then added to form the number 32. Uh, it takes a little bit of uh, effort to get used to this, but that's the basic idea. And as long as you understand that you're taking rows of the first, multiplying them by columns of the second, the rows, the number of columns here has to be the same as the number of rows here, so there's a, a dropping effect where each number has a number to match it, to multiply by, and then they get added together, you're in good shape.